this is going to be different. Hello everybody. This is usually the part where I begin by saying welcome to another devlog and then giving some apologies and excuses and for the lack of content and then I promise to make more videos along the way. These are all true statements, but never actually happen. I've been working on this game pretty consistently the entire time though, and that's kind of the issue and what's been bothering me a lot. I have been working on this game for a really long time, and I don't have a lot to show for it, and I never seem to have a lot to show for it, and that's really concerning to me. Now, a lot of work has been done on this game over the almost two years now, and it's gone through multiple three or four, I think, versions, and then a complete rebuild and Godot 4.0 that I mention every single video. Uh, I've revisited the art style several times and restructured mechanics and menus more times than I can even remember and more times than I honestly ever wanted to do. Uh, despite all that amount of work that's been put into it and the amount of revisions and restructuring of code and, and making things better, there's honestly still not a lot to show for that. In fact, there's barely any game at all. I know it's not a great thing to compare yourself to people all the time, but I can't help but notice the amount of content out there on the internet of people who are doing these, you know, great things in a short amount of time on their own. People who are able to do amazing, complex, beautiful, functional games in no time at all. And while I realize that may not be the norm, and obviously people who can accomplish these things are more likely to post that online than people who, you know, trip and fall on their face, it is something that exists, enough to where I find myself stumbling on people doing these things quite often, and honestly, really great for them. And maybe I'm just not that great, but even if that is the case, I shouldn't be so bad to where I can spend an infinite amount of time to accomplish nothing at all, right? I should give myself some more credit though. I know I'm not terrible, and honestly, I'm, I'm pretty good at what I do. And I keep getting better with each iteration of this game and with each new thing I learn. And I'm also doing all of the code, all of the art, all of the game design, every single thing on my own. And that does take a lot of time. And especially because I am taking time to make things better, go back and change things when I know that I want the structure and code of this game to be something that I could reference later on other projects as well. And the work I have been doing is very valid and it's good. However, that still doesn't stop me from realizing that other people are able to do the one thing that I seem to not be able to do at all. And that's actually complete something, even tiny, small things. And honestly, when thinking about that, I'm not even sure how people can do game jams I'm sure everybody knows what a game jam is, but for the one person who will stumble on this in their YouTube recommendations and says, hey, there's a video I haven't seen, a game jam is a sort of short-term event where a number of people come together to create small games that will fit within a set of rules and parameters in a short period of time and submit them to the game jam, and then winners are selected and blah, blah, blah. Actually, I, I don't know too much more beyond that. I just know that there's like... A short period of time to build a functional game and that sounds impossible for someone like me to do a game jam i mean right i can't seem to do anything in any amount of time so something like that seems really impossible thinking about this is kind of what made me have a big brain moment or something like that is four brain cells actually fired at once which is a lot more for me than it is for normal people uh i decided to reach out to the internet because people can do game jams lots of people do game jams why would it seem impossible for me that means i have to be doing something horribly fundamentally wrong because as i said before i'm not that terrible at this so how do i make no progress compared to other people well, and as it turns out, I found an answer that made a lot of sense. My issues, the real issues, they have nothing actually to do with the way I'm building the game at all. I mean, maybe a little bit, but my issues kind of are more on the project management side of things, which isn't something I put too much weight in. After all, I'm one person doing everything, so in my mind, 
you know, for project management, you could do a Venn diagram with one circle that says everything and just write my name across it. Um, I mean, sure, I use things like OneNote for bulleted lists, and I've used Trello for, you know, Kanban uh, cards, and I've used some project management -y things, and, you know, technically, I have a certification as a scrum master so i kind of understand frameworks for getting work done but i was missing something very very important and vital to actually reaching my goals i discovered the concept of the minimal viable product or the mvp believe it or not i didn't know about this well i mean i did sorta i know about cutting out all the extra stuff so that you can reach a goal faster and then going back to do the extra stuff sort of like creating a skeleton of a project and then going back and filling in the meat and organs and metaphors um but seeing this kind of in a way that it's in writing and more thoroughly defined made it resonate more with me and became something more tangible that i could actually work with after all it's it's one thing to know how to sort of like create a minimal viable product or like a skeleton towards what you're doing that kind of works it's another thing to actually have that as sort of a written down framework that you could actually look at and reflect upon and and use um so what is it exactly in my context this minimal viable product should be the simplest version of this game that still provides a complete and enjoyable experience and so for that i actually had to sit down and, and define what those things were that would make the complete and enjoyable experience and realize how much time i spent on everything else that doesn't actually fit within those parameters to make something so what does my MVP look like? Uh, the core gameplay loop needs to be completed. That's definitely something that needs to happen. I chronically feel like I have no game to show, uh, and that needs to be fixed. So my MVP needs the player to be able to start the game, go find their resources, make better gear, fight enemies to get even better gear, encounter an overworld boss that could just spawn in any room, and even summon and challenge a biome specific major boss those are supposed to be kind of the main like you know gatekeepers to each area or or stepping stones towards the final boss once i have all that constructed those are really all the building parts of the game that are necessary to play the whole game now I need to point out what this does not need, and that does not need a lot of things I've already put time into, including the day-night system, the weather system, houses and towns that you can really go inside of the buildings, as well as the basic structure for randomly generated dungeons. I don't actually need any of that right now, and I've actually put a bunch of time into it, so I'm going to kind of just you know, comment some of that code out and make it so some of that stuff doesn't even show up, because it's just more complication and more things to do in between where I am and having something that's kind of playable. It's all stuff I really want in the game. Don't get me wrong. I just can't do everything at once like I've been trying to do. Um, when working towards a minimal viable product, the minimal part is really kind of hard to focus on and I'm going to give it my all. I am really excited though by having enemies that can only appear when day and night happen or when certain conditions are met with the weather but i honestly don't have any of those enemies made yet anyway so the weather system and day and night system which are implemented do nothing so i think i was kind of bringing the cart before the horse um it's still cool i worked on that stuff and it is stuff i want to be included or want to have included later but you know, I kind of probably shouldn't have done it yet. And I mean, that's okay. I might just disable it temporarily. It really kind of makes the video recording actually awkward sometimes when the lighting's all over the place. And really, I do need to work on the lighting. But anyway, not the point. I need to uh, focus on what needs to be done. So what's next, right? The plan now is to take this approach of working towards MVP and applying that towards this project. And in fact, I've already started progressing down this route and it's made a huge difference. Uh, I'm actually very excited about this project for the first time in forever. Uh, not that I 
was dreading it or anything, but it was really starting to make me not feel great about myself the longer I worked on something and didn't have a lot to show for it. And taking this new you know, technique or route or strategy of reaching an MVP, it seems to be working really well. And it's helping me stay focused on what I need to be focused on. And it's giving me good reason to set aside some of the things that I really want to do, but probably shouldn't be doing next or now or already. Anyway, I've already created a bunch of enemies, an overworld boss that could appear in any room, and I've also created the biome boss for the first area that's triggered by doing something specific in the overworld. And now when I've created these things, they exist and they're not fully flushed out, but that's kind of the point. Not everything has to be perfect at this stage. It just has to exist and work and be functional enough to where it, you know, counts, I guess. All right, well, I think I have to wrap this video up soon because I actually really want to get back to working on the game, and that's a pretty exciting feeling to have. Uh, again, I did start working towards a minimal viable product for a little while before even starting to make this video because I wanted to make sure it was something I was going to stick with and wouldn't just create a video about it and then not do it. Uh, that's kind of not cool. But I'm already pretty close to having somewhat of a minimal viable product. So I'm probably going to, I think I'm, you know what, I'm actually going to start making the next video on Friday. I'm going to have a lot done by then. I'm not showing a ton of stuff right now for some reason, but um, it's going to be good. So on Friday, no matter what, I'm going to start working on the next video. So should have something sometime the following week because it, Every time I go to record anything, for some reason, my sinuses are just like, no thanks. Um, it, I don't know. Maybe you don't know how it is, but you know how it is. Um, I'm going to end this by saying I'd like to thank the 32 of you who have been subscribed. It might be a weird thing just to thank a small group of people like this, but knowing that there's at least a handful of people who are waiting for some reason for me to say random things about this project is really kept me from bailing on this entirely when there's definitely been some moments where I felt like I took a wrong direction and there was no recovery for this and I just needed to abandon the project but I, I stuck with it because I told you guys I would and I would like to say that I appreciate you for being here I guess so thanks also, this game still doesn't have a name.